this video, we're going to talk a little bit about plagiarism. Everybody's favorite topic. I know it. You know it. You've heard it a million times. Guess what? We're going to talk about it again. Because apparently, it just doesn't sink into some people. So here's the deal. Plagiarism, as defined by the OED, the Oxford English Dictionary, is this. The action of practice of taking someone else's work, idea, etc., and passing it off as your own. Literary theft. You are committing a crime. You are taking somebody else's idea and saying, Mine! You're not a seagull in a movie. You are a student. You need to write your own things. A lot of times this happens... I don't want to say maliciously, because it's not true. A lot of times this happens through simple ignorance. Well, I'll just take this and I'll copy this and... and and I'll, I'll hit copy, and then I'll paste it onto something else, and then I just won't worry about it, because it obviously must be common knowledge. Not the case. Make sure you educate yourself on plagiarism. That's what this page that I'm on is all about. This is one of our libguides. If you know where the libguides are, library homepage, libguides, that will take you here. Just scroll down, and here's the one for plagiarism. Let's look a little bit about how plagiarism happens. The, the first way is intentional. It's the one where you are being malicious. I'm going to copy-paste this whole paper and pass it off as my own. Uh, this actually happened in several classes. Uh, one of the ones I like to remember or like to talk about the most is a psychology class. Somebody actually tried to pass off the Wikipedia page for psychology as their own work. It didn't end well for them. The second kind is unintentional. Unintentional plagiarism is when you are doing your citation work so here's your citations, right? And you miss one. You, you miss putting one of these on your reference page. Or you miss putting an in-text citation, you know, the author and the date or author and the page number, in the actual paper that you're writing. And it usually happens because you're writing it at 3 a.m. and you miss one. When that happens and it gets noticed by your professor, uh, the problem that we have as instructors is that we cannot treat that any different than intentional plagiarism because we don't know your intent. We can only grade on content. If it's not there, then we have to assume that, okay, well, those are your words. If they're your words and you're actually getting them from somewhere else, it's plagiarism. The third type of plagiarism is self-recycling. It's when you write a paper for one class and then hand it in for a different class in addition to the first class. So you wrote this awesome thing about, you know, ancient humans in your history class and in your psychology class you're talking about the psychology of ancient man oh this would go great and you pass it off the problem with that one is professors talk usually we talk about three things we talk about good students bad students and food and we usually talk about the first two over the third one when we do get to talking and we talk about our good students we're like oh yeah we got this really cool paper blah 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 and then the second professor's like really i got this really cool paper about the same exact thing now you're not just in trouble with one professor, you're in trouble with two. Some professors will actually allow you to do this, but this is one of those cases where it's better to ask permission first rather than beg forgiveness after the fact. Some will let you, some won't. Just be sure. How do these things get dealt with? Uh, there is actually a process. It can range everywhere from just do a rewrite to you will never attend this school ever, ever, ever again. And that's why it is so important that you make sure you are documenting your sources correctly and for the love of Pete, please, 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 please don't do it intentionally.